Hello, welcome once again to SiteGrinder One Hint at a Time. In the last video, we looked at text menus that were vertical, vertical text menus where we had um, individual lines of text. This time, we're going to look um, quickly at horizontal menus. Um, you can make a text menu um, that's horizontal just by putting all the text on one line and separating the items by two or more spaces. Um, so in this text menu, each um, item is separated. I've separated them by four spaces from the next item. And uh, the more uh, consistent the spaces are between items, I mean four spaces on between each item, then the more consistent the results will be on the web page. Uh, you can also use a text menu that uses the vertical pipe character to separate them. And the vertical pipe character is found um, by the little key that's above the enter key on your keyboard. Um, usually, so you can use either um, separator to separate out horizontal menus. Now, one thing to know about um, text menus and text horizontal menus in particular is they are not pixel perfect. Uh, the text menu um, do, as a consequence of their being editable, um, that they can have their words changed and their links changed, and they can have more items added to them and things like that later. Um, one of the consequences of that is that they are not. Um, pixel perfect. For example of what I mean by that, I've added some graphic lines to this design, one that goes right through the middle of the center pipe on this lower menu, and two others that are um, uh, bookending the products um, menu item. And I want to, when we build this page, see where those, those lines, um, where the text menu ends up relative to the lines. The graphic lines will come out exactly as they are in Photoshop. Um, they won't move at all but we'll see that the menu items themselves um, drift a little. So here we open this up in the browser. Let me scoot this over. And in a second, as soon as it loads here, there we go. And, uh, let's close the design manager and make this a little easier to see. So here you can see that the uh, the graphic line, the, the red line that in our Photoshop document went straight down the center pipe uh, is not. That this menu is over just a little bit. Um, it's contracted a little to the left. And this menu here um, is also uh, contracted a little bit so that its products is not perfectly bookended. So that's something to keep in mind when using horizontal menus is that you can't put other things um, on the page and, um, and expect them to keep the relationship to the individual menu items. Um, if you're planning some sort of like hierarchical menu where you have a menu across the, the top running horizontally and then you want vertical menus to appear when those um, are hovered over, um, you can set something like that up but you probably will not be able to use a text menu for the menu across the top. You may have to use individual button layers for the menu that runs horizontally, uh, for the control that runs horizontally. Alright, thank you much.